What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to bring you guys a quick review and demonstration over Studio X by Studio Trap Sounds. Um, I've done a review on one of their plugins, I don't know, maybe about a year ago called 808 Machines. It was a pretty solid little 808 plugin. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So when you open up Studio X, it's going to look like this. It does have a pretty nice looking GUI. Um, with this plugin, it does have 70 different presets. It's currently on sale for $30. Um, Y'all know what I always say. I wish it had more presets, but you can never make a man too happy with presets. Um, with this actual plugin right here, you do get reverb, you get LFO rate. And which is dope is you get this big LFO def um, control right in the middle of the plugin. Um, it gives you gain. You can tune the sounds. Um, it gives you stereo width, it gives you panning, um, it gives you cutoff glide, and obviously you got your voice modes, velocity, filter types, um, so low pass, high pass, um, and then you have your LFO sorts, so you know, obviously mod wheel, after touch velocity, your waveform, which is nice, um, and then you also have your destination as well. Um, and then you have ADSR right here. Um, so I made a little beat like always. Um, I didn't add any effects to any of the sounds. So these are all the sounds of the plugins raw. The only thing that I did use that wasn't a melodic piece from this actual plugin was a little guitar I threw in right there. Um, so let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, so that's the little beat that I put together for you guys. You already know what I'm gonna say. It's not all the way mixed down, uh, but obviously I wanted to let you guys hear what the sounds sound like raw for the demo. Um, so let's go ahead and hop back into Studio X. So basically this plugin is geared up, they say for trap, hyper pop, stuff like that. Um, and so they have, like I said, 70 presets. Um, they have them broken down into categories. So you have bells, you have guitars, keys, pads, plucks, strings, and synths. Um, I think where the plugin really shines is with the plucks and the pads. Um, they're very, they're very solid in my personal opinion. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to start off with some of the plucks and we'll just go from there. Um, what you'll notice about the GUI too is that it does light up when it's playing, which is also, you know, good for the eye. But let's go ahead and check out what these plucks sound like. So the star of this plugin is the LFO def and rate as it's easy to control. So I'll just go ahead and turn this up so you guys can hear what it sounds like on some of the sounds as well. Thank you. 
And so with this, I'm not going to play every single sound in the plugin because there's 70. Um, I don't want to be here all day. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and hop into some of the um, some of the the pads. Uh, so with the pads, I'm just going to hit the button for you guys. Um, so basically, um, this is what uh, some of the pads do sound like. So super luscious. Uh, but let's throw some of this LFO def and rate up and hear what it sounds like. Kick up the reverb just a little bit. So that's absolutely fire. Let's check out some more. This one's called Bizarre. Let's turn this def up and this rate up. So that acts, adds a whole lot of character to the pads. Let's check out this fantasy. This flute is probably my least favorite of all the pads. This one's dope. Sounds like a thunderstorm. So those are some of the pads for you guys. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'll play some of the guitars for you. Um, they sound like this. All right, so next let's go ahead and 
let's check out some of the synths. Um, so with the synths, um, this is the basic synth that I use for the beat. Um, and it sounded like this. But again, you can mess with the voice mode, so I haven't showed you guys this yet. Um, so you can mess with mono. So you can get it to sound super weird, which is pretty nice. You can turn this glide up as well. So that's a nice feature for it as well. Let's go ahead and go to the next synth. Play another sound. So again, it sounds like a synth. All right, so I'm gonna play some keys for you guys real quick. Um, so let's go ahead and hop into keys. Um, let's find a different pattern real quick, uh, just something basic. And let's go ahead and run these keys. All right, guys, so that's the plugin in a nutshell. Um, I think it's a pretty decent little plugin for $30. Um, I do have one negative about the plugin though. So let's go ahead and hop back into FL Studio for just one second so I can explain. Um, my only real major negative about the plugin is the note placement. So like if I'm playing this on just like a regular keyboard, I feel like the notes are too low. So like if I'm playing this on my keyboard and I hit B, you hear how low that is? Um, so like, like, let's say I push play right now. So I feel like all these notes should be down here on like D4. And if I push control up and I take it up an octave, I feel like those notes should be at least down an octave so that they're in the proper place. And if you have like a keyboard, you don't have like a MIDI controller that you can play them on your keyboard like um, you would any other VST plugin. But, you know, that's a minor little complaint. Obviously, you can fix that by just penciling in your notes or, you know, playing with your MIDI keyboard. I also want to add, he did let me know that they're going to have a bunch of affordable expansion packs starting to come out next week. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, you already know what time it is. Drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time.
something, something, something. Hit the key.